We got four man Finn on the job today. Four man Finn. He is going to keep track of everybody's progress. What are you setting up for? We are setting up for the grout. First timers here, should be interesting. <laughs> Watched a couple YouTube videos. So if you're doing grout by yourself, from the YouTube video that I watched. Um, this is the kind to get because it doesn't harden as fast as the other one. Yeah. But we'll see. So we are going to tackle this today and let's go see what else is going on. We got my dad out here. He is working on shelves above the kitchen sink. We had a couple pieces from the countertop that we cut in half. My dad did an amazing job and cut this straight down the middle. Give him an A plus on that cut. And uh, so we're gonna put them side by side like this to fill in that space so there'll be a nice pass through on the window. And this is his job today. And then come over here and we got Mom doing a second coat on the door. Expert painter <laughs> for hire. Uh, but yeah, so she is doing the second coat out here. And hopefully she'll be in the shade soon. It looks like it's coming your way. Okay, I'm glad we went with the less soupy option because it made me nervous. There's just gonna be dripping everywhere. I would hire you. <laughs> Looking so far, I'm loving it. Oh, yeah. These pieces are gonna bug me, but they're gonna be underneath. You I'm actually excited them? how those corners turned out. I know, they turned out really nice, love. First timers. Okay, we're gonna have to clean the walls. Oh, that's fine, yeah. All right, so, we're just gonna Okay. And then you don't want it to get too dirty. Okay. You're taking the stuff off. Okay. And we'll dip it. Liking it. It looks really good. It looks so good. I'm so excited. This is definitely the right color. If we had bright white, it'd be intense. That's why I said I don't know this stuff, so I'm trusting you. I'm guys. thankful for the happy accident, like Bob Ross says.
right. OMG. Did we just do it? I think we just did it. Yeah. So we still have to, this has to sit now. We just wiped it off with a sponge. This has to sit. There will be a film that comes over it. And then we'll wipe it down. But... You gotta wipe this side. I did, didn't oh, I? Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay. All right, what are you doing now, Mom? Taking out this bush I've been wanting to take out since you bought the house. I'm in, my happy, I'm in my happy place. Say goodbye to the bush. <laughs> I did the other side. and everything this is gonna look so good and blend right in yes finish off this weird open window and then we'll have a little overhang here maybe we'll put some bar stools underneath or something What just happened? Almost fainted. 
because I went out, I got high on the fumes from finishing up the uh, fireplace. Your mask was not on properly. I had mask and goggles. Because like a, 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 when I found you, you had white inside of your nostril. Really? Yeah. I was, I was You like, were huffing paint. I did not mean to. So I had this big mask on today. I didn't film it. Um, the other day I had the smaller one and we realized we needed the bigger one because it is so strong. So had that on goggles and I thought, oh God, I might pass out because I'm like getting high on this. I should probably get out of here. So I walked outside and I didn't want the door to slam shut. So I put my hand there and only one finger was there and it hit it. And I was like, ah, I kind of hurt a little bit. And I looked at it and started gushing blood. There's probably blood on the front yeah. doorsteps actually. We should probably wipe that off. Oh my God, I don't feel weak thinking about it. <laughs> don't think about it. And then, but anyway, she ran inside oh. and I was in the backyard working on something. And, and I'm holding it, like shaking over the sink. And I'm like, and she, what do I do? She yelled for me and she was over the sink with her finger all bloody. And then I hallucinated. I'm not even kidding, you guys. I asked Michael when I came to if there was something in my ears because I don't know if you felt that feeling where you like are gonna pass out or throw up and it kind of gets like in your ears. So that happened and I was in a forest and then I realized like, oh no, I'm in my kitchen. Like what's happening? And I came to, I felt like I was gone for like a while. Like 15 like seconds. A few seconds. Yeah. It was weird. So here we go. So are. if any of you guys have ever huffed paint, let me. us know if that's the experience you had. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so she smacked that. Ooh. Is it blood? And it was blood. It was like all it bloody was all and gushing. everything. Yeah. I took an Advil. Back under the ice. She took some Advil. It's under the ice. It's She's so probably going to lose a finger. Nail. Just and a finger. <laughs> I've never lost one before. So this is where she's going to be. She's going to be chilling for the rest of the day. I think that was a sign that you're done for the day. I'm like shaky. Good. <laughs> Good. Good. That's your body. That's adrenaline. I can't breathe through my nose because I'm still high on paint then. So I have to breathe out of my mouth. It's really hard to breathe mouth breathers out there, man. More power to you. I can't do it. Snake yesterday, today, I almost passed out. Michael sliced his hand yesterday. I think we need to put a pin in um, our renovations for the day. <laughs> what is this? Why did you bring this? Hey yo, it's Prison Mike. <laughs> Update. If you don't like seeing gory things, trigger warning. I'm going to show you my finger. It actually didn't look that bad, but it feels crazy and it keeps bleeding. It feels like pressure, like it needs to be relieved, if that makes sense. It's not fun. So I slept with it on a pillow above my head kind of thing. The whole night, pretty much it stayed there. Um, it didn't really start to bleed again until I woke up. I have a few hours to figure out how I'm gonna type. And it's Met Gala Monday, so that is like, it's like fashion's biggest night and I work on a style team, so it should be, should be fun. We'll see what happens, it's like seven, oh, it's 8 a.m. now. So I got a couple hours, gonna freshen up and get our day started. I gotta work today. Yep. So we're gonna do that, and then later today, Michael's going to work on the shelves. Yes. Maybe we'll yes. see. Yes. Okay. He is. Do you see our tile in the background? Do you see the tile in the background? It looks so good. I'm so excited.
Why? Are you a crazy man? So much energy. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> I got treats. You want treats? Sit. Sit. Nope. Sit. Good boy. Off. Sit. Good boy. Dude, you just made me like run, dude. Good boy, good boy. Sprints. Sprints for the daddy. So what are we doing right now? Michael is um, mixing different colors together to get the perfect shade to match our butcher block. We're thinking that this is the early American and what is? It's a couple drops of early American. Summer oak and early American. Mixed so together. essentially what happened here is we're using leftover butcher block from the countertops to make this kind of like a, you know, inviting pass through so yeah. when you're working, you know, on food in the kitchen, you can set it up here and be like, you know, come eat the tables right there, all that stuff. So we're going to put a piece of trim around here to make it all just match. Because it's made out of plywood. Yeah. So when you cut it, it looks like this. Yeah. It does come with stickers, but we only have so much and we're going to need them for the sides. Yes. So we're going to do trim on each side, make it look nice. And it's going to be a rounded trim. So the more like this side. Well, this is these are baseboards. It'll be a thin trim, but yeah, this is this is I close. Think that's the, the closest we've gotten. Okay. Also, is this water damage? What is no, that? No, that's how it came. Okay, I'm that's like, came. uh oh. That's a stain defect from right. IKEA. All right, so we got Dad back here today. He's working on the pass through on the kitchen sink. I am on the clock. He is on the clock. See where that, uh, how I have the screws just sticking out? Uh huh. Oh, to go in the hole. We're gonna lay it up there, so I and then we're gonna net, whack it with a hammer, so it'll mark here where I need to put the hole. Okay. So we've got a pre deal through. Okay. Okay. Bracket time. Yeah, bracket time. Then we will put the top on. Gorilla Glue, heavy duty construction adhesive. Together. The last little bit. Last little bit. The bottom's all done. There may be some touch ups we'll do, but. The dedication. I changed an art brush. The dedication. Gotta get them views up. Smack that all on the floor. Okay, should I take it all off? Yeah. Let's see it. Let's show me what the you got. Big reveal. Show them. Let's do it. Show me. Back out. Head back out. Oh, oh no. I thought. Cute. So what I'm doing is going through this board because it's not like uh, kiln dry wood, so it's not like dry. There's sap in it. Yeah. Still, and before we like sand it and finish it, and then sap starts leaking out, my uncle, who's a woodworker, told me to get a heat gun and just go through. And it, what it does is it crystallizes the sap. So we're gonna do this. It goes to a thousand degrees. It's like a hair dryer. It's like a hair dryer on steroids. <laughs> is bubbling. Yeah. If not, I don't want to burn the wood, but then yeah. I have to sand it all down. So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> 